Um, today in math class, uh, we're actually just moving on to um, lesson four of unit uh, number seven here. Um, today we talked about how to write expressions for number patterns or numerical patterns. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, what we have is this pattern, which is in this case three, five, seven, nine, eleven. They want us to find out what the sixth term is. Now, what happened for this pattern? We have to figure out what is the rule. What what are they doing here? So they start out as three, okay? To go from three to five, we find out that they added two. So plus two, all right? So to go from five to seven, they added two more. So we add two more. Goes from seven to nine, we added two more. All right? And to go to, come on, there we go. And to go from nine to 11, they added two more. So once again, we have three, five, seven, nine, eleven. Now the last thing we want to do is figure out what that sixth term would be. Well, the sixth term, we're going to add two more. So plus two. So right here is our expression: three plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two. But there's an easier way of actually saying this. So that's one way to write it. Now they want to know what the second way would be. So we know our starting number was three, and we added two to it, a total of how many times? Well, one, two, three, four, and to get to our sixth term, it will be five times. So five times two. So we know five times two is 10 plus three would give us our next term, which is 13. The same thing happens down here too. It says write the first five terms of a pattern that begins with five and then adds five. Well, if it begins with five, we know the first number is going to be five. We're going to add five more, so then that will be 10, all right, 15, 20, 25. And then they want to figure out what would that sixth term be. Well, the sixth term would end up being 30. Now, how did we get that one? Well, we started out with five and we added five six times. So our expression for that one will be five times six. We started with the number five, we added five, um, a total of six times to get that one, okay? Going on to the next part that you'll see on tonight's homework. All right, uh, you'll also see them talking about number patterns and I'm gonna blow this up. So if you look at number four here, and you'll see this on tonight's homework too, it says to write the first five terms of a pattern that begins with two and then adds two. Well, if it begins with two, we know our first term is going to be two, and then it adds two each time. So two plus two gives you four, then you go to six, eight, and 10. And then it says down here for part B, it says to add four, and, I'm sorry, start with the first term of four, and then add that four more times. So four plus four gives you eight, and that gives you 12, 16, 20. They want you to circle all of these numbers, so I'm gonna put a little circle around here. And they wanna know what is the relationship between the numbers that we circle. Well, to go from two to four, well, we can add two, which gives us four, and then we can multiply by two, which gives us four. So let's apply that to the next one. Well, if I add two to four, that one gives me six, so that throws that one out. But if I multiply four by two, that gives me eight, so that works. Six times two gives me 12. So as you can see, our top number is two times less than our bottom number. That's what they're asking us here. How do they relate? Well, my top number is two times less than my bottom number. Then for part D down here, it says, how's the bottom numbers compared to the top terms? Well, my bottom number is two times more than my uh, top number. So sometimes that might be vice versa. It's all about how it turns out for that number. The last part that you'll see tonight is your regular uh, type of graph. Um, the kids really understood that one, so all you're doing is just multiplying the graph there. All right, if you have any problems or questions or concerns, email me.